guys thanks for joining me this is my i love wrestling podcast for those that know coach bt and you know a little bit about me you already know that wrestling is one of my favorite pastimes i've been a huge wrestling fan since the 80s when you're thinking about hulk hogan macho man randy savage rick flair all of the greats i'm taking you down a rabbit hole into my world on this show this is going to be something new something different and it's going to be powered by amazon and what i'm going to do is i'm going to introduce all these different new products all these different new figs that uh basically encompass the world of wrestling i feel like wrestling is a art i'm going to take you down a rabbit hole of my art form hopefully you like and subscribe to this channel and along the way man i hope you vibing with me i hope you rocking out with me let's jump right into the new channel and the new show of i love wrestling all right so we're gonna keep this thing going we're gonna keep it going and so uh just to give you a little backdrop on this next fig that we're gonna introduce um hailing from the hometown of uh st louis missouri the, the fan favorites man from pretty much man he, he could have been a superstar in any generation the one and only randy orton it's kind of fitting that uh one of the other videos that we did we had the uh, fiend bray wyatt was kind of burnt to a crisp during the thunderdome this action figure right here is one of the top picks of the elite collection uh, Mattel Elite Collection WWF figures, WWE figures, True FX, Life Like Details, and this is awesome. I wish I had something like this to play with back when uh, I was growing up, but you know, here I am 40, 41, 42, whenever you're watching this video, and I finally got a chance to get a chance to play with, with one of these. So, uh, the Viper RKO, hella from St. Louis, Missouri, um, and just kind of give you a backdrop on this. Randy Orton kind of came up a little bit after the Attitude Era. Um, um, kind of where you know I was kind of fine with so I just remember kind of seeing this guy you know flashes throughout college you know wrestling is one of those type of uh, uh, genres that you know you can go years without you know kind of keeping up with the storyline but once you jump back into it it's just like jumping on a treadmill so um, for the longest uh, during the attitude era going into you know when WCW and WWE kind of merged I was off at college living my best life I have to double check on the year that he came in and that's during that era it was one of those things where you saw him you knew he was a superstar he knew he had the potential to be great and just to kind of see where his careers kind of took off then and to now it's just kind of kind of amazing and to be able to be doing it still uh, at a high level at this age we haven't seen him on wwe tv for uh, probably a little bit over maybe like a year he's kind of dealing with some injuries but i hope he can kind of get back and get right and uh you know have that that last little hoorah kind of get through you know the end of his career but truly a wwe hall of famer in the making again hailing from st louis missouri 6'5 250 man 6'5 250 man that's a big boy all right some of his career highlight uh, career highlights he's been the you know the wwe champion he's been the intercontinental champion united states champion uh, he's he's on some folks list as probably one of the greatest of all time um, i'm pretty sure you know he's not gonna say that but to be able to do it for for that level and that long he he has to be mentioned um with, with some of the greats again during the rootless rootless aggression era um, he's he's teamed up with triple h he teamed up with rick flair with batista like all of those heavy hit names man and to be still mentioned to today is one of those one of those the guy that at any time he comes back man he's a he's a threat so again this is uh one they call the one of the top picks a must have so you must have this in your collection if you're you, if you're collection if you're collecting action figures if you're collecting figs from all over man this is a this is a must have to add to your collection again man this is nice slick lifelike details um, you know you've been hearing me talk for probably you know a little bit now let's get down to the get down this is what you came here for this is why you're here watching this video is to have me unbox this tell me uh and for me to tell you what i think of the randy orton elite collection elite series top picks must have so let's jump right into it let's get to it let's do some unboxing again kind of standard with a lot of these different uh elite collection you could probably have a couple couple places where you know it's kind of either taped off or kind of slit so i'm gonna start with start with the bottom right here the right at the bottom let's see if i can kind of get these guys kind of peeled off got that one out of the way it's another one right at the midpoint we're gonna ah, get that guy up out of there 
can see what we got up over here. I'm gonna peel these guys back. Let's make sure I'm able to get the top part off. And we're gonna kinda see what this guy can uh, go nerdy Gordon look. So right off the bat, some things that I kind of noticed is the, uh, you know, the hooded, the hooded jacket fit and the hood doesn't go all the way up, but I have like a fin ballot that came with like the leather jacket, kind of like this, but I mean, pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to say this, uh, he has all of the, the tattoo, the lifelike uh, look. Um, again, this is a, a, a must have for folks collection and it, the, the elite collection kind of comes standard with a lot of these, you know, the backdrop that you can have for the fig to kind of drop in there. But for the most part, man, this this looks this looks good. This looks tough, man. Tell me, tell me guys what you, what you think. Is this something that, that needs to go into your collection? Because I mean, it's just because I've added it to mine doesn't mean that uh, you want this or, or something that you need but again it's a uh, cool randy orton kind of capturing this this version of the viper so pretty cool video pretty cool action figure um again i'm gonna make sure that i uh write out the description how you can get your hands on one of these and i want you guys to make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you drop a comment and tell me uh what you like about some of these guys catch you on the next video